tonight. Aereo is sold out, the Microsoft board won't meet during the Super Bowl, and Yahoo might get back into search. Tech News Tonight is next. This is Twit. This is Tech News Tonight, show 15 for Friday, January 31st, 2014. I'm Shannon Morse. Let's get right to the tech feed. No antennas for you. Now get out in New York. Okay, maybe not the best Seinfeld reference, but when scores of new subscribers si tried to sign up for Aereo, they were greeted with the statement, thanks for your interest in Aereo. We are currently sold out in New York. The company uses tiny dime-sized antennas attached to a circuit board to collect signals from over-the-air TV broadcasts. They stream these same channels to subscribers for $8 a month. This morning, the CEO went to Twitter to announce, yes, we are sold out. We will reopen as soon as we get more capacity deployed. As you might remember, Aereo is being sued by the major broadcasters and will have to defend its business model in Supreme Court in April. As of this broadcast, no word on when a new shipment of antennas will arrive. Let's hope that's soon. Recode's Kara Swisher told us on Tech News to tonight yesterday that Microsoft Enterprises head Satya Nadella is a leading candidate for the next Microsoft CEO. Today, Swisher reported that voting on the CEO position would begin this weekend, although the Super Bowl would delay the process by one day. The Wall Street Journal reported today that the Microsoft board is already in active contract negotiations with Nadella. As a part of those negotiations, Nadella is asking for founding CEO Bill Gates to spend more time on technology and strategy to help him as CEO, according to the article. The thinking appears to be that Gates would become an advisor to Nadella, but step down as chairman while remaining on the board. Microsoft has had only two CEOs in its nearly 40-year history, Bill Gates and current CEO Steve Ballmer. Now, Yahoo! They may be going back to their roots with new search-related initiatives codenamed Fastbreak and Curveball, tasked with search advertising and algorithmic search. Both are under three- to four-month time frames and see to, seem to be a priority for the company that will possibly focus on mobile. Now, while Yahoo! is currently under contract with Microsoft to use Bing as their back-end for search operations, this could signify an exit strategy for the near future. And Yahoo! hasn't just been busy with search. An undisclosed number of Yahoo email accounts may have been com compromised due to a malicious software, but they are denying that their security has been breached, saying that it may have happened to another company with customers reusing their passwords. And of course, Yahoo advised customers to change their passwords, never use the same password twice, and is forcing password resets. So if you haven't logged into Yahoo recently, and that's Yahoo, not Gmail, go do it. Also, if you're a Gmail user, double check that your listing of last account activity down there at the bottom. Make sure that you're aware of all the logins in your account. Just my two cents. Now coming up, a cyborg cockroach. Ugh, that's gross. Powered by its own bodily fluid. Ooh. But joining us now is Lauren Good, a reporter and a review columnist for the new tech website Recode.net. Hi, Lauren. How are you? Hi, Shannon. I just have to tell you, I'm not planning on reviewing the cyborg cockroach anytime soon. <laughs> that thing is disgusting. I agree. Now, Lauren, you recently wrote an interesting piece in Recode about the new generation of Bluetooth headsets. Now, Bluetooth headsets have fallen out of fashion, at least personally for me, but are new technology and new features bringing them back? I tend to agree with you. Um, I personally am not a huge fan of Bluetooth headsets, um, but I will say that people that use them uh, tend to be like pretty passionate about them. I mean, you can you can typically spot these people a mile away. They look like they're talking to themselves, or they <laughs> they're very like self important because they might be on a very important phone call at any moment, and so they must have their Bluetooth headset in all the time. Um, I wouldn't say that new technology is necessarily going necessarily going to propel them uh, into like. You know, I, I don't know what, they're going to become hugely popular. Um, but this new uh, Jawbone era does have some improvements over previous models that I think are at least worth checking out if you are a Bluetooth headset user. Yeah, one thing that I noticed about the better headsets is they let you interact easily with Apple Siri and Google's Now or Google Voice Search. Doesn't this ability make them pretty much bona fide wearable computers? 
Yeah, this is true. I mean, we've heard a lot of talk about wearables over the past couple of years, but if you think about it, I mean, Bluetooth headsets were the original wearables. Uh, and Jawbone really did stress with this new product that it's it's meant to be used, um, or it's meant to be, uh, I guess, better for video chatting. So if you're somebody that uses um, Skype or FaceTime or any kind of VoIP service um, a lot, then this is something, you know, the audio is supposed to sound great. Um, I wouldn't say, though, that just because it can queue up Siri, this is necessarily necessarily like a huge game changer. Um, there are just regular headphone sets out there that will also do the same thing. I mean, I have a pair of Shure headphones at home that um, you can, you know, access Siri or Google Now. Um, as long as the, the headphone set is, is, I think, you know, iPhone compatible, you can perform that same function. So the fact that the Jawbone Air headset can do that, you, just, you know, simply by pressing and holding down the button is cool, but I wouldn't say it's a, it's a real, it's a huge game changer. <laughs> I do agree. Now, for anybody that uses Siri or uses Google Now, uh, which Bluetooth headset would you re recommend for each of those? Oh, um, so I actually, I didn't use the Jawbone era with, with Google Now personally. When I tested it, I tested it primarily with an iPhone, so I accessed Siri. Um, but I would say that the Jawbone era is definitely a good pick for that. I mean, some of the other ones out there, I mean, Motorola comes to mind, uh, Bose, Plantronics, they all make, you know, pretty high quality Bluetooth headsets. Jawbone is not without competition in this arena. But when you just look at them, the size comparison, in none are quite as small or as diminutive as this little two inch uh, Jawbone era. So if you're looking for something that, yeah, works with uh, something like Siri, um, has really good audio quality and is, you know, really tiny, then you'll probably want to consider the, the era. Perfect. Thank you so much, Lauren. And you can see more of Lauren's reviews over at Recode.net. It was a pleasure. Thanks, Shannon. And here's a question for you. How do you power an electronic device attached to a cockroach? Oh, why would you? Why not use the bug's own bodily fluid? That's the idea researchers at Osaka University at the Tony Tokyo Re University of Agriculture came up with. Now they developed a fuel cell that taps into the insect, uses the sugars present in the bodily fluid and reacts them with enzymes to create electricity. Note, you will have to feed your cockroach more so that he keeps things powered. <laughs> First, we have cockroaches, and then we are next. And lastly, do you want to watch the Super Bowl but you don't have cable? Yeah, fear not, football fans. The NFL and Fox are offering up a free stream of the game straight from their websites at NFL.com and SuperBowl.com. And you can also watch with an iPad through the Fox Sports Go app or through your Xbox with the NFL app. Verizon Mobile and Fios customers also can subscribe to the NFL Mobile app for $5 a month as well to watch watch the game. So good luck to your teams on the field out there. That's it for this edition of Tech News Tonight. Hope you guys had fun. And before you do anything else, you need to subscribe to this podcast over at twit.tv slash TN2. I'm Shannon Morse. Good night and stay classy, internets. Bandwidth for Tech News Tonight is brought to you by cashfly.com.